in other interesting news, uh, which I I was actually kind of happy to see. Um, so Tesla, in their last, they just had a meeting, like I don't know if it was an investor meeting or whatever, but they're talking about doing um, different battery technology, so it's a new type of lithium, and they mentioned breaking it into two types, right? Like short range vehicle, short range batteries and long range batteries, which I think is actually fantastic and that's gotta be the way you gotta sell to the market. And I think they've always had that in mind, but I think what they needed to do is get people on the uh, EV train for a few years and just get people excited about it. And, um, you know, and as people bought into electric vehicles, whether it was Teslas or Toyotas or whatever, you know, they could start to, um, they could basically start to realize what their driving habits were like, right? Because you had to pay a little bit more attention. If you have an electric car, you still have to pay more attention to where your EV stations are and all that stuff. Um, but what you learn is that probably 80 to 90% of your driving, if you're in a municipality, like a city, um, Let's see shit, hang on. Couldn't tell if anything was coming at me. Um, <clears throat> man, it's beautiful. Right? So, uh, here I'll show you what I'm looking at. Uh, Alright, that's just me. Uh, that's so nice. Probably not coming through on the cameras good as it looks in real life but amazing sunset um, anyway so like people are learning uh, more about their driving habits and they're probably realizing that 80 to 90 percent of their driving is done within the city and I think that that's that's exactly where you need to have an electric vehicle right there's no reason that's that's the best place to have an electric vehicle um, you know like and I have no data to back this up, but I would say that in a city, there's a lot of pollution from vehicles just stuck in traffic and idle and all sorts of crap, right? And um, and I think that uh, having, um, you know, just, I wouldn't say like mandating, I don't like the word mandate, especially, <laughs> especially now because lots of mandates and I ain't, I ain't cool with it all. Um, happening but I think the best place to own an electric vehicle is if you're a city dweller and you're driving a lot in the city and you know city intercity uh, and that's where you would you wouldn't need to worry about your range or your battery pack because you're just doing like maximum 20 to 40 clicks a day you know like you're just driving to work driving home going to get groceries whatever um, so there's really no need to uh, have anything um, as a, as a long range electric vehicle. Uh, so that covers the short range, uh, the short range theory, which I think is fantastic. I think that's a great idea. The uh, long range um, is always gonna be appealing to other people because as we've seen, electric vehicles can do long range travel, right? Like there's Teslas out there that can people, there's lots of YouTube videos that show, um, there's lots of videos out there that show the uh, the you know how they how so and so does their trip across the United States, and you know you it can be done no problem, but you've got to find the charging stations and all that stuff. So you got to be really mindful when you're doing a long range trip on a on a, with an electric vehicle. If you're doing a um, I got some really funky current coming from the port side here. It's strange. Um, but if you're doing a uh, um, long range, say in a gas vehicle, you have a lot more freedom, let's just face it, right? Like you can go and take roads here and there, you can bring jerry cans of fuel. You have a lot more um, opportunity to explore, right? So you're not locked into the EV uh, highway, if you want to call it that. And um, and that's a, you know, that's something that I don't know if a lot of people really consider, but uh, but it looks like Tesla is going to market to that crowd anyway. They're going to have like the 
long range battery, which would be in the long range vehicle, it's gonna cost obviously more money, um, more expensive battery. But for those who wanna be um, zero emissions on the road for their highway trips, then that will appeal to them. One of the things that I don't think people think about is that gas and diesel do get more efficient on the highway. I mean, like every mile you're getting a little bit lighter, right? Something to think about. It doesn't happen with an electric vehicle. You're still carrying the same weight no matter what, whether the batteries are charged or not charged. Um, anyway, uh, but the point was just to talk about the... The point was basically just to talk about the... Um, the fact that they're starting to split it into long range, short range, and they'll probably do a mid range eventually. And uh, I think that's great, like, because I think that's probably what they had originally planned on years down the road. They just needed to get people into the EV market. But I think that's great. Why do I say that? Because I think it's going to be the same with boats. I would consider e a short range boat, <laughs> you know? It's a. Um, I, you know, I call it a weekender or whatever. I call it a weekender because it's good for the weekend. It's not good for, uh, you know, coastal crawling, you know, hundreds of miles um, on a trip, right? It's, it's good to, this is a short range, a short range EV, <laughs> electric vessel. And I think that's the, eventually how boats if they if people do get wise to it you know to get on electric boats whether it's a conversion or i mean shit i just saw a company in california that they're going to charge what three hundred thousand dollars for a small electric boat i, I mean that's just <laughs> that's insane man that's a, that's a lot of money um but i'm also cheap <laughs> so, so i think i think anything is a lot of money but uh, I think that's the future of boating. There'll be short range electric boats and long range electric boats. So let me be the first to say that e is the first short range um, electric cabin cruiser. <laughs>